Hello? Yes, you're on the air. Oh, I am. Yes. Hi, Ed. This is Nikki from El Cerrito. Hi, Nikki. Join me behind and follow the law as he interpreted it. And when the jur one of the jurors got confused about it, and she called the lawyer, and the lawyer said, if you don't vote the way the judge wants, you could get in big trouble. And now this same judge is deciding whether the jury had misconduct. Hey, that, is that American or Bulgarian justice? I don't, I don't get it. Well, anyway, here we have it. Bribed and intimidated witnesses. Confused and intimidated jury members. You know, this is the first time in American history that a jury has repudiated its verdict. Can you believe that? Well, the state of California, frankly, is playing a role, but it happens to be being played out by the citizens uh, at this point rather than the leadership of uh, the state of California, which is another one of life's ironies. The real leaders in this, uh, in this movement are not uh, those who we would normally think of as leaders. It's the, it's the people. It's, it's the, the, the patients patient. who have to step out. When you get that kind of a divergence uh, between the laws on the books and the lack of public support, uh, you're going to come out with some results that are extremely hard to reconcile. We're going to work extremely hard to keep Mr. Rosenthal from going to jail because jail is really meant for criminals. Uh -huh. And it's meant for people who should not be associating with the rest of us. And Ed Rosenthal is not a criminal, and I'll speak personally, and I know I, I think I speak for a lot of other people, we want him associating with the rest of us. Yes. This began immediately after the end of the trial. It began the minute we walked out of the jury room and into the hallway and were confronted by people who told us what we had done. And for the first time at that moment, we realized what a horrible mistake we made. We felt so intimidated by the way the trial proceeded, by the way the defense was treated, by the whole system, by the way the judge, on a, if not daily, almost daily basis, hammered those instructions into our brains that this was all we could consider, that even in the privacy of the jury room, we didn't feel free to bring up anything else. And it turns out that most of us were sitting there with strong doubts about what we were doing, and none of us even felt free to, to express it. But it's long courage to stand up here and say what's right, and they're really doing a good deed. And it wasn't their fault. They didn't get the full story. They didn't get the truth, and they got pretty much mostly lies. And it's not their fault, it's the government. And I'd really like to thank them for being here. Thank, thank you. you. From what I've been able to understand from the reports of what went on in the court proceedings, it was a completely unjust trial, completely skewed. The truth was never given a chance to get out. The jurors were never given a, an opportunity to, to make a, a judgment based on uh, what was actually happening. Okay, I'm going to start by eating some hemp seeds, which are uh, a very healthful, very healthful food. Uh, I'm from Canada, and we grow them in Canada. And there's several different farmers right across the country that are growing hemp seeds. We also have a strong medicinal marijuana movement in Canada. The earth will be liberated when cannabis in America is liberated because it is America's drug laws that are keeping Canada, cannabis uh, from being grown right across the whole earth. Uh, the, the single convention on narcotics act in 1961 was signed. It was Henry Kissinger's greatest triumph, which basically has got the whole earth not able to use this cannabis plant in a way that we have been for the last four, five, six thousand, uh, forever. Well, I think it was unfortunate that the jurors were denied information of their right as a juror to judge the law. They were constantly told they had to follow federal law. They had to apply it, that's true, but they didn't have to follow it. And it's a well-kept constitutional secret. And um, unfortunately, that is what allowed the outcome to be what it, what it was. That's uh, the reason he's in the position he's in right now, is because when medical clubs started to form, um, the ones that were serious about uh, you know really taking care of the patients went to him for guidance because he's the expert 
and uh, you know he stepped right up to the challenge and uh, has been instrumental in uh, you know helping the clubs you know um, set standards for medication you know to make sure that it's safe you know in the DEA the federal government is ignoring it's all the science that's out there you know it's ignoring their own judge Francis Young in 1989 after reviewing all of the evidence said that marijuana is safer than most foods that we commonly consume and in essence he said that uh, marijuana is the safest therapeutic substance on the face of the earth yes indeed and I didn't know him until he got inspiration to me because he stands up for what other people believe in, what he believes in, and he's a really strong person when he disagrees with someone and has a good, like, strong belief and reason behind him. He'll really show it and prove it, and he's not going to say no for an answer or turn other people in and say guilty because he's no he's not he knows he was doing the right thing and that that really I think that shows a lot of courage and that that's what really inspires me because I want to be like that when I grow up he's made me think like what I can be he wasn't the brightest kid when he was in school he didn't learn to read until he was in third grade I'm actually okay in school. I'm not the best, but okay. And so he's told me that, you know, reach for the stars and you'll get there. And that's what he's doing. And he's brought the, the jury, jurors to realize that, you know, what happened was wrong and to stand up for what, what they believe in, too. He inspires everyone around him. And I want to just in terms of the kind of person he is. My father is so caring. He gives tons of amount of charity to every year. Um, he tries to do the best for his earth. For the earth recycles everything. Um, at all the house. Um, he loves gardening and taking care of all sorts of plants. Um, he nurtures. He's really a great person. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your comment.